Everyone will know that you use it. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. Just put it in the package. Hey, bro. You're good? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Me.
with you. You weren't seriously thinking that while you were sitting down here, painting your nails, I would pick up this and go into the kitchen and make breakfast for you. Eh? Who are you? What do you take me as? A maid? You are so disgusting. You just clean your armpits with that In fact, to eat that food, I will not eat that food. You are dirty. You want to go and clean that kitchen and then take this 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 thing away. And if you have a problem, keep it inside yourself. Also, if you have a problem and you feel that the state of the kitchen is uncomfortable for you, that is okay. Go in and tidy it yourself. As for me, I am extremely comfortable in the kitchen. And you know what that means? The kitchen is going to remain like that for a very, 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 very long time. Mm. Oh, now. You said, you took Unam. Unam, everything. Why do you say so? I mean, don't you enjoy the fact that you can get it whenever you want? Okay? I mean, Clara, she's very uncomfortable. I know this is not my imagination. She really looks happy. Uh, okay, okay, bro. I get it, right? I understand. I mean, uh, Clara is a fiance who happens to be a grown ass woman, right? She's successful, she's brave, and courageous, right? But hey, you have to take it easy, okay? You have to. I mean, but with time, she will come to enjoy the fact that she's here. So just keep her with time. Besides, you have a reason why these girls are here. So, eyes on the door. When
I will beat somebody. I will beat somebody. I will beat somebody. Seriously. That does not happen. Hmm. Okay. Gina. Tell me about. Gina, baby. Gina. Please come. Come and sit down. Come. Who do you want to get? You won't believe this, eh? She really expects me to cook for her to eat. Who does she think she is? If she's lazy, she should just take it elsewhere and not bring it to where I am. If not, she will regret ever meeting me in this house. Sorry. So, just because she asked you to cook for her, that's why you want to eat her. What happened to the part where they say the and brother's king? Come on, baby. Try and be nice for once, okay? Give me a sense. Mm, please. Come. Don't worry, you come to love her. Right? Correct, madam. African madam, kitchen woman, number one. The food she cook. It's a happy Sunday, everyone. And uh, I prepared delicious jollof rice with fried chicken. <laughs> ah, I'm just feeling really nice and happy today. So I decided to spread the joy by asking all of you. Oh my god, I wonder what she has prepared this time. She must poison somebody. Um, I... Clara, Clara, stop. You're going too far. Can't you see Gina here is trying to be nice and get in her Why don't you do so? Um, Gina, please, I apologize on her behalf, okay? No. It's okay. There's no problem. I refuse to be mad or disturbed by her cruel words. <laughs> After all, a clear conscience is safe. Yes, now. Uh -huh. So, Mbo, who is uh, heading with me to the dining table? Food is ready. <laughs> Don't use those glasses. They need to be washed. Not to order with you. 
But you don't want to imagine this time is so nice, right? Let me give you a clear picture of this whole grammar of the world. Hey! What the hell is this? I can't, I can't just believe that. This kind of room exists under this roof. I I wish there's something I can do about this. Dude, this room looks like where restless animals are red. I mean, I, I didn't mean to insult you and your fiance, but you guys need to get your head examined. How can you sleep inside this room? Okay, Jay, now that you've seen for yourself, do you still consider me lucky to have Gina? Anyway, what I think doesn't matter. What matters here is that you love her, okay? No woman is perfect, okay? That does not change the fact that she can cook. It's that your problem. <laughs> hey, this place is hell. Alero, you are sick. You are sick. I mean, how could you? What is wrong with you? Are you joking? Alero, you must be very sick. How could you allow? Are you? So Imagine. What else was going on? Let's not talk about what stupid assistants who cannot even take care of herself. Well, I have time to come Maybe can you get me my breakfast? I want to put something in my stomach before I leave. Um, I I woke up this morning. I wasn't feeling too well. I I have a headache, so I just baby. What are you telling me? What are you trying to talk? You're telling me you can't prepare tea and bread? I'm not even asking you to prepare how they be for me and soup. Honey, are we still talking about this? Are we still talking about this? Are you serious? I thought you said you were going to get me a chef and, 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 and that you will fix everything concerning the food for me. Oh, honestly, I... Okay, maybe I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to get you confused. I didn't mean to bother you, okay? I, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable, okay? I, believe me, I love you with every bit of my heart, and... I love you too, please, baby, do me a What is it? She's scratching her arm, it's like she's feeling empty. Well, we're talking another thing, we're talking something else. It's the same thing, it's your hygiene, she's dead. She has a pig face. She has a pig face. Wife in Materia, everybody wants to be. All the criteria you cannot meet. What do you want woman get? Another no go fit get. Any man you don't like you, he know they care. The shoe you wear, designer number one. Just take a very good look at yourself. You know, sometimes I wonder what Eric sees in you. Eric needs a polished woman who will bring out the handsomeness hidden in the rough patches of his life. What? No. He doesn't need a woman who would adjust his shirt and not be able to treat him to a good way when he returns to the Hmm. I guess he fell in love with you after eating the meal. You slash girl. Good meal cannot keep him out. He can afford that in the restaurant at affordable prices. They are cheap. Mm. Sweetheart, your strategy is very cheap. 
Really? And what is your own strategy? Get a chef who will cook all your life? Pathetic and sorry. Especially when you are not sick. I think you have a lot of growing up to do. But before then, please deal with your itchy armpits. You itch all the time. One person who almost loved to put things in perfect shape. And what are we talking about here? Clara, of course. Uh, you know, but why would Clara want to clean my room too? Eric, you ask me. Who I will ask? What's it of some some? Everybody wants to be on the criteria. You cannot meet. What do you want? You are getting another look of it. Let me know if there's a difference about the room. Because I did when I walked in. Babe, I, I, I just can't explain if this is how you are or you are just deliberately avoiding being good or doing what is good. I noticed it you now. It's not that the bed was dressed. You know, I mean, no more sweat. Everywhere was well arranged. I noticed it was tidy. Okay. Who did it? Is this one? Huh? <laughs> How am I even asking? I know it's not the you. Hmm? My boyfriend I cannot even bend down and so talk more of an engine this way. So you noticed and liked it, right? It's okay. It's not bad. Because the reason I like to keep my things all out in the open is in case I'm looking for anything, I see it. If I want my bra, I can just see it. If I want pants, I just see it. I don't have to start scattering and jumping around the room when I want to find something. That's all. Okay. You know, I was hoping for some sort of miracles. But this whole and I think it was a handiwork. But hearing from you right now, it's obvious it's class. Yeah. It's hard to wish it was you. Clara. Hmm? Yeah. Should I hear you say Clara? Yeah. Clara did all it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Clara, 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 you have overstepped your boundary in this house. You did it the first time, it was a mistake and forgivable. You do it the second time, it is deliberate and it is unforgivable. I can't believe I'm just sitting down here listening to your lecture on boundaries. Oh, oh, oh. now I remember. Is it about you? Okay, it's now clean and it's clean. no longer clean. Because you are dead, you are a pig! Thank you. Stay off my space, off my man, off my stuff. I run those things and I will run them the way I want to run them. How do you feel invading other people's privacy? Huh? You just got me very, very angry with this trash you said now. And I will get you angry 
more. What is your problem? What is it? In fact, you know what? I am tired of you and I am no longer comfortable living under the same roof with you. You know what? Who wants you to stay here? That is the door. Well, pack your things and go. We don't need you here. You are not in any position to tell me when to leave this house or when not to leave. Besides, I'm, I am not comfortable with you. I think it's the name of arranging them. And I, 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 I'll be struggling to look for my things everywhere. When I slept, when all the knocking is, all them I just hang out. Right. You are so damn right. I mean, why does it have to be so difficult? Why do women always have to be a pain in the ass? Everyone says thank you for cleaning. Your effort is highly appreciated. I don't get it when this whole thing is damn complicated. Stay off my space. Stay off my stuff. Stay off my man. I mean, what the hell is running through her brains? You're not in the position to say that. I cannot leave my man in the mercy of anything like you. Oh. You know, says that. Women are difficult. So difficult. And you know what? I think it's going to be even more difficult this time. Has my rump with shepherd to do with life? Everything. Everything. Whoever knows you knows me. Like, whose boyfriend is this? Clara. How does that sound? No. We're gonna change it. Alright, don't worry. I've had money. No, no, baby, no. No, please. Please. I'm getting more serious. I'm sorry. I'm not going up like this. Looking like the other guys. It's just a casual walk, my brother. All right, we'll be back before anyone take notice of the rumpled appearance. Are you serious? Whatever happens to you, um, um, looking good is good business. You know, I hate it when people try to like make excuses for their. So you should look good every time. You never can tell who you could meet. You need to dress well every time. That is to present. Yeah, okay. Represent your friend's girlfriend. Ah. Don't worry, I I'm fine. Okay, thank you for taking care of us. I appreciate it. Well, I'm not surprised you. Gina actually saw you dressed like this. 
I'm not expecting anything less. Lara, Lara, you stated your point quite clearly. Don't start with those insults. Please, let me get my shirt. Clara, thank you. Clara, I have kept everything you said about you. I said it very loud so you can hear me. I don't think I can say it to you. Clara, I'm telling you that I've heard everything you said about me, including the part you said I don't dress well. You know what? You are wrong. I have everything it takes to snatch your man from you and keep him. <laughs> really? This is a joke of the century. I mean, you and I know that Jake cannot beat you. I mean, he cannot his type. You are deadly, you are filthy, you itch your armpit all the time. I mean, how? You know what, Clara? I am not interested in your man. You can keep him. But please, leave Eric for me. I like Eric the way he is. You see how he was looking rough and all when he was going out earlier today. I like him that way. You have no reason to look at him from head to toe or look at any part of his body. No, leave him for me that way. Keep your itchy fingers that want to touch my man away from him and your eyes. Please. How are you doing So tell me, how have you been living with Jake under the snow? Oh, I'm giving it to him any ideas. Excuse me, tell me what you want to hear. <laughs> I'm not very uh, curious about a lot of things. But you told me that you want to live with Jake under the snow for a very long time. So how is it going? Well, it's been fine though, but she's had experience of fun. But after just what do I do? What is there to adjust to? I mean, I thought it was just you and your man having good time together. I know. We had some friend called Eric and Eric was in love with me. The same day I arrived. Oh, yeah. Arrived. I'm telling you. The girl can cook. It's cool. She can cook, but she is. Are you serious? Mm. Babes, hell is what you just described. I tell you. But seriously, you have to talk enough. Oh, 
my day. Crashed down our heart surface. What about Clara? Did she tell you? Same. How can a perfect, wonderful, careful Clara hit her head on the wall? <laughs> I don't believe. It. I think there's something they're not telling us. But wait, is it that the thought? Ah, baby, food is ready. Let's go in. <laughs> okay, I. Behind you. Right. I have to put that. I think I'm hungry too. <laughs> You're my brother, man. Anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. What? No. like it? <laughs> you know, this is my favorite spot in this house. Anytime I'm here, I feel so relaxed, comfortable, and just forget all my problems. <laughs> you feel so especially when I'm with you, right? Hmm? <laughs> you know you won't be It sounds very insulting and sexy. Hmm? 
I don't know. Whatever you say to me, my heart just skips. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Why do I feel that way? You feel so because love surpasses all. Now, baby, can you take this sexy legs of yours off my jean? Not as so much as I'm in love with you, but I'll prefer your head on this spot. So, <laughs> this sexy legs of yours. So, please, baby, take it out. Follow me. I, you know, I don't understand what you say, but please take it out. Ah, uh, okay. I don't seem to understand the reason for this thing I'm sitting down here. Right in front of me. Actually sized that plastic girl up from head to toe with desire. You're funny. That baby you talked about right now is my cousin's fiance. Okay, fine, I turn, I whistled. But I was just surprised at her bold outfit, nothing else. Mushu! Liar! Don't lie to me! You think I did not see it? You just cheated on me! Look at the way you were looking at her! Your eyes were all over her body, you were desiring her, you were wanting her! You think I did not see it, right? You just cheated on me and I cannot stand it! I can't stand a man that cheats on me! I cannot stand it! No, don't get away! What did she even say? That I, that I cheated? How? Why are women so difficult? Jake. Okay. You know what? From now on, you're going to be sleeping on the floor. That I sleep on the bed. We are not married. You know that. Right? What the hell is wrong with you? What's eating you up that you cannot share with me? What is the problem? With just this distance between us for some days now. And I, and I, and I still can't figure it out. Really? Okay. You want to know? Why do you always compliment Gina's name like that? I've noticed anytime she brings food, you just, you just look at this meal like you've never eaten food. Your face is all filled with smiles. There's this giggle, there's this happiness that comes from within. I can feel it. Do you know how that makes me feel? Do you know how I feel when I perceive the, the, the aroma of, of the food and I cannot have it? Then I realize that it how much I love you. Hell no, you didn't say that. Jake, did you? You just said that to me, like, you're saying that to my face. Okay, um, I thought we were done with the kitchen skill or whatever. Is that really gonna cause problems between us? He's eating and appreciating another woman's food to get problems with him. But, I thought we'd gone past this. Do you know how I feel, like, I want to do everything to make you happy. I really want to satisfy you, Jake. I don't care about your kitchen skills. I love you so much. I care about you so much. I, 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 I appreciate another person's food. It shouldn't be the matter here. Jake, you will not believe that Gina has refused to cook for me. And the thing that we're going through this because of nothing. Ha, there is always something. 
You know, some things are we guys never see as nothing. Ladies always see it as big. You understand? So what is it this time around? Okay. Yesterday, your girl came out to the kindergarten. Right, so I whistled at the sight of her, right? And that was how I entered the Virginia's bathroom, just like that. Because I whistled. Yesterday, I almost got kicked out, out of my own bed. Guess what? Because I normally appreciate your face. My smile brothers are the sight of my face. My face smiles. No wonder they say women are like babies. You know they have, they, they, they possess this fish brain. You know, shallow, shallow genders. That's it. Do you know what? As long as we sound like male chronic chauvinists, I can't but agree to what you just said. You know, they are, they are, they are just jealous and insecure of nothing. I'm telling you. Oh boy, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Let's just pray Gina does her magic now because me, I don't even have to say. <laughs> You're grounded by her, man. Come on, go and use your normal charm on her. Staying for two days without that meal is not going to be held you. Oh, I tell you, you. Stop. it's not going to be held you. <laughs> And she's right. Chinese has it for today. So what about you guys? Hey. What are you doing? Well, I discovered the uh, local joints like that. Mm -hmm. eh? They do suya, roasted chicken and roasted plantain. Okay. You know these things they prepare with uh, firewood and yes. arrow rice, something else. Like that. <laughs> then if you don't want it roasted, you can actually, by the corner, there's another joint where they cook. Some arrangements like yeah. that, you know, chicken head, they will now pack it matching brown into the head and then tie it the first time. Very nice. You might not be need to try it out one of these things. Both of you should go ahead and try it out. We cannot risk our hair. We saw the problem. I mean, I don't want to risk it. No, we're doing Chinese. <laughs> I don't want to risk my health. You should have ironed your
once. Why did you jam me like that? What's this smell on your face? Baby, why are you always asking the obvious? Because I am looking at you, wondering the motivation behind your silly and stupid attitude you just displayed there. You know what? You're so stupid and foolish, but I still love you. So after all the embarrassment I had to be this is all you can say. Okay, the reason behind my stupidity and the reason behind my motivation is Me? Baby, you can't be serious. Of course, you know, the you you presented there is not my kind of woman. What were you thinking of? Sorry, Clown. Mm. Story. Think I did not see the way you were looking at Clara the other day. Think I didn't see it when she was dressed without her seated outfit. Think I did not see it. That was the only reason I put on that outfit. So that I'll also look hot and sexy before you and you compliment me. Instead, everything I did to distract you from that stupid game did not work until my clothes tore. You went through all that because of me? I am so sorry, okay? I didn't know you did all that for me. But you should know I am not crazy about those tight gowns, bum shorts, sexy legs. All I want is you, right? I'm crazy about you, your stupidity, your foolishness, your clumsiness. You being an idiot is all I love. Baby, I love the real Gina, the real you, okay? Thank you. You always appreciate me with insults and I like it. <laughs> Makes me warm and comfortable. That's good. I'm sorry, okay? Let me just... Give mm. my... Why? Okay, don't worry, I'll get another one for you, okay? The other day, your fiancé came out with a killer girl, right? So, uh, the, the sight of her bold and daring made me stare at her with surprise and shock. And guess what? My big mistook my expression for admiration and then desire. And she decided to go get a gown, so uh, I can look at her that way. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're not serious. You're not serious. Was that why she went and bought the gown that was not her size? Oh shit, shit. That was that was a waste of money. Man, that was a waste of money. You see, she, she has this way of, of of relieving you from stress by making you laugh with her clumsiness. Yeah. Um I kind of uh, 
like her cute attitude and fringe. Mm, mm, mm. That's 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 my girlfriend we're talking about here, okay? I don't like the smile on your face when you talk about my baby like that. Alright, so kill it. Hey, come on, man. Come on, come on. Just, just be my man, I got you. I call this meeting because I am ready to face my friends and I will defeat it. Honestly, I can't do this alone. That's why I call this meeting. I need all of you. If I can remember how to put it right, it was fear. Or am I wrong? Um, you're right. In fact, I, 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 I need to prepare dinner for you guys. And I have made up my mind I'm going to do it. I will prepare this meal for the last drop of my blood. In fact, you're going to eat like never before. Mm. Suicide mission. Mm. Cook or die trying. Wait. Did you say that your blood? I don't do this kind of thing. I'm not really damn uh, No, no, babe. It's not like that, okay? I guess it's her literary way of saying she's going to put in her best to make sure she will see the baby, right? You have to encourage her. Not everyone can be this way. I'm so proud of you. You coming out to do this? Cooking. Hey. Hey, the aroma is so bad. Hey. You should come here to give us one try.
Yeah. Rules of table manners. Don't talk about it. That's why I said I need to say this. Uh, I want to say thank you for at least um, giving me the opportunity to serve you. It's a big deal to me. Maybe it is. Actually, I put in so much effort to prepare this meal. That's why the meal is this. I mean, this is beautiful, and I know you guys will enjoy it. And um, I want your honest opinion um, after eating. Please enjoy the meal. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Drama. All this long speech. For this food that I know won't even be edible. Uh. It's not time to join the office, but it's time for us to eat and be grateful for the efforts to put in the uh, So, uh, Nice, okay. I mean, <clears throat> Clara, thanks for, for the meal. Okay? It may not be the best of tests, but <laughs> thanks for the efforts. Every she said she wanted our honest opinion. What you're doing right now is packaging what? This is no food, this is poison. Did anyone ask you to send us to our early grave? Eh? What is this? <sighs> Give me alone, please. Is this what you eat when I, I cook for you? Gina, baby, it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Original woman, Sabi, madam. One in town, it's okay. madam. It's not okay. It's not okay. She gets the standard. She it's know fine. like naughty. One seed of sun, sun, no day for her room. Okay. Okay. I know she'll be feeling bad right now. I wish there are more comforting words to say to her. You don't have to say anything to her. It's not in your position to do that. Her man will do all of that. Wait. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Once or twice. At least the perfection is not perfect at all. Why are you so venomous? Don't you have an answer? Me? Venomous? It is the food you eat that is venomous. I'm talking about having a heart. Clara killed my heart with all the bad names she's been calling me. Likes of pig, dirty thing, itchy armpits. And so many names I cannot even remember uh, right now. At least she's trying to be good in what she's got. But you, what have you done? You're just here, okay with your lifestyle and ways of living. What have you done to improve on your own on your new self? Eric, you are unbelievable. Don't tell me you're trying to make a comparison. See who is talking. Are you better? Hey, Eric, hey, but don't let me start. Don't let me start. I am not doing anything to improve 
on myself because I like being me. I like myself the way I am. I like being myself and not being anybody else. What am I doing with you if I'm not good enough for you? Eh? At least I give you good news. You don't come back home to eat poison. Sorry, I am um, sorry if I it felt like I was trying to compare you. I'm sorry if I upset you. You know what? You brought me in, bro. You were right. Yeah, you were right. You were everything I need in a woman. Seriously. And I'm. I'm blessed to have you as my, you know, my number one. Will you forgive me? It's okay. I forgive you. Seriously? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my entire life. Is a man, me. So I was able to fix her home yesterday. I don't understand. She tried to be okay. She tried so hard. But I believe she's okay. I wish she could just stay okay for me. Oh. You know, Clara's inability to cook is not a positive, right? 
mean you can enroll her in one of these cooking schools and in six months time she will come out and be the best cook ever. Regina, what is the name of the school that one can enroll you know, someone for home organization, orderliness and tidiness? Is there any school like that that teaches organization and orderliness? <laughs> if you ask me, who I go ask? Obviously, there is no such school that teaches that. So you see, I am stuck with Gina's bad side for the rest of my life with, with, with no solution in sight. Come on, man. You can't say that because you know you are not organized and orderly yourself. I, I so don't you. blame your fiancé. Jake, I am not a fiancé. I know I am lacking in that quality. Right? So I need a woman who possesses those beautiful qualities to complement mine. You feel me, right? Eric, can you go over there? Let me finish you. Okay. Okay. Oh, you are To make it. Really? Um, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I've been coming to this salon even before I met a plastic person like you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm so sorry, I, I rushed to get you something at the first entry because I know you don't like to take anything around. I know. Come on, maybe you don't do well. Maybe you got me exactly what I want. Did I waste time? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Come on. You're here. Yeah. Welcome, Jake. Thank you. I'm good, you? Um, for me, when to put on the door, I don't know. Salad for four hours making your hair. That's why most of the successful women go on low cuts because they don't have four hours of their time to waste by chasing money and trying My to. My God! Why can't you just be a little bit romantic? What would go wrong if you say something like, "Baby, your hair looks good on you," or "Baby, this new hairstyle is perfect for you." What would just go wrong? Why are you so impossible? Hey, why are you angry? Why are you raising your voice? The compliment is mine to give, right? I can decide to give it, 
or just you? Of course. Who is the man? You are the man. Yes. But guess what? Women love to be pampered once in a while, no matter how little. I think you should just take a look at your cousin Jake and learn one or two things from him. His tender and romantic nature. Let me just say that. How dare you compare me with another man? Oh, babe, you think I am not good enough for you? You want Jake, right? This flash baby, Clara has him. And you have me. It's high time to get that into your head and start appreciating what you have. No, that wasn't what I meant. I don't want Jake. I was just wishing that maybe you could learn how to be a bit romantic. Big tender, just like me. But then I know it's wishes. You are Eric and you cannot be another person. I don't have a choice but love you the way you are. I'm sorry. We oh, are yeah, the now. It's, it's okay. I, I was just trying to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You look quite lost. Bro, I'm really worried now. Thinking that very soon these ladies will start nagging. And they will want us to go see their parents. You know the official thing now. Yeah, yeah, I see that too. You know the thought of it scares me. You know, waking up beside one woman for the rest of my life gives me the shiver. Don't you love her? I love her, and I would love to be with her. But what I am saying is that how do we know that they are the ones for us? What if they turn to be different someday, and this long riding marriage becomes frustrating and exhausting? What what would be the best option? I feel you, man. Okay, okay, so we, we have to find a way to figure out the death of us. Let's appraise the strength and weakness. But the problem right now is how do we even go about it? I will figure out something. Something that we cooked. So. Yeah. But before then. Tell me, spill if you have anything. Go down now. I was the one that called you. I brought to the hot. What is it? See, the idea goes like this. Why don't we involve our parents in this? You know, even parents has their way of figuring out girls. No? Oh, okay, fine. I, I, your genius idea is dope. I give it to you, right? But isn't it? It all depends on what 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 parent is coming. My mom is late. You know about that, right? Oh, uh, but this, my dad is in no go area. Yeah, hell no, but if it's a mom, fine. They walk. What are you talking? You know, currently my parents are out of the country. They can't do this. Let's leave that this to your dad. Okay? You know, your dad is a disciplinarian. He can, he can do this very well. 
I can remember this experience of having him as a second dad. It was tough though. So what do you think? Jake, you know what I think right now? I think you're crazy. Yes, Jake, you're mad! I mean, how can you be this? You made that to come here? Hell no! I've been avoiding that man for two years and... I hear it's, it's, it's rubbish, right? Think of something else. This one, it's a no. See, Eric, no week is enough for your dad to figure out who these girls are. You know, that will prevent us from a lifetime disastrous marriage. Even if you watch me from today till tomorrow's sweetheart, you can never do this. You're not born for this. I mean, it's not for this. I'm not interested in your incest report. I came here to discuss something with you. Have you noticed that the boys are always in private? The boys will always be boys and we are girls now. If you're talking about girls, do you expect us to do that? That is the punch line. That is it. Men will always talk about girls when they are up to something, when they are about to do something different. And whatever it is they are discussing, I'm very sure it will not be in our favor. You see, you're feeling so insecure right now. Why won't you feel insecure? Please do not instill those insecurities into me because I'm so not going to buy it. I just realized this is a total waste of time. You have a head, but you do not use this head that you spend so much money to correct. This is a good thing. You have it's actually a waste of time to talk to you. Because whatever you say is rubbish, bad or dash, that's what comes out of your mouth. And you know what? Why won't you even be afraid when you're always itching your armpit, you're always scratching? Can you excuse me? Please. Itch your armpit. I won't even leave you when you're always scratching, scratching. The girls, I and Eric have a little announcement to make. And what we're about to say is going to excite you. Eric, that's it. Jake, don't make me be the bearer of this news. With your ideas, will spill. Eric, don't worry. You can go ahead and Oh, uh, okay. Um it's 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 Jake's idea though, but um since I'm gonna just say it so I mean okay, you say I should. Uh, we, we, we will be expecting a visitor. Yes, um uh, <laughs> it's fun to be with, you know, very ironically. Um, it's nice. We'll be expecting our dad. No! Yes. Yes. My dad. Whatever it is I have done to you, please don't punish me this way. I beg you. Need how else? Still with my dad for one week punishment. Remember you said you wanted to meet him? No, if I said I wanted to meet him, I should spend a day with him. Not spend a whole one week. Besides, I've had a couple of messy experiences with my ex-boyfriend's parents and I wouldn't want to experience that now again. Please now, eh? What was your dad going to do here for a whole one week? Please now, stop him from coming. Eric, do you not have to do that? Not me. I mean, if you guys have to do that, why not just rent your own apartment and find your dad? I am not dating his son. Why would I want to see him? Clara, you're wrong. You have to say, you will meet him. You must meet him because he's my dad too. My second dad. Huh. That's it, please. That is going to come. 
So I wanted to prepare a room for him. It's very picky though, so I have to give you that. It's just one week. Okay. Just one week. Just one week. Okay. And I said no. Ah, just, just one week. So much in love with you. It's been sitting at the and throw you out of the house. I can never. Where did you go? I've been standing there for some minutes. I didn't know the door was even open. Um, I was telling her that she should come and open the door. Come and open the door. She refused. I couldn't come because I was taking a shower. It's not true, sir. Kai! Ness also! I was in the toilet. I was actually full. And I told her to come and open the door for you. But she said no. That when I'm done with what I'm doing, I should come and open the door myself. It's okay, girls. That's enough. I see you both were unwilling to wash me in. But I wonder what changed your mind that you were. Both dragging to open the door for me like as some sort of celebrity. Anyway. I'm here because my son wants me to be here. So I better get ready. This beer is my... Dad, you like the food, right? Oh, am I wrong? This is your fiance, right? <laughs> yes, Dad. She is. She's a good cook. Not as excellent as your mother do, uh, but uh, she's good. I'll see that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope this is not all she can give because Take more than just a tasty meal. That's true, Daddy. Daddy, thank you very much. I'm glad you like the meal. Eh? Please, if you want anything else, just feel free to tell me. I'll just quickly arrange it for you. So, so me too. Anything, I'll, I'll, I'll help you, sir. <laughs> well, I hope the girls welcome you very well. And I hope you like your room. <laughs> they kept me waiting for minutes. Suddenly. There was a rush, there was a fight. Then we don't I wonder what got over there. Baby, what happened? I thought you said you were taking me to the house. Why did you keep that stranded? Long story. Blame it all on this. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I, I, I'm sorry for what happened this afternoon. You can see I don't look for trouble. It's this white witch calling me a witch. It's okay, girls. I wonder how my son survived the first time they go in and fight. <sighs> and I wonder if you both will ever get along. Everybody 
Oh. 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 You came unannounced. Is there a problem? Do you want anything? Help! Do peace for Where is this place? Because I see that this is my son's home. Um, Dad, I'm in. And I don't oh. want to believe. So what do both of you have to say? Tell me. It's a room where you store dirty clothes and items not in use. Dad, this is actually my room. But well, you know I am not neat or tidy freak. And uh, see, I, I like the state of the room like this. It's, it's, it's cool. So don't be so shocked. That you know tidiness is not my thing. I know it's not your thing. That is why I was glad when I was told you found a woman. I said at least you will soon to teach you how to be orderly. Not to watch is a pig like you. This is called a good point of your delicious meal. Right? Beside <laughs> he knows that no one is perfect. Okay? It's okay, just. Alright, Clara. Sincerely, I admire your goodness. If only Gina would get along with you. So that she can learn tidiness and orderliness. I think it would be nice if you teach her how to do her home. Um, Daddy, I try so much to teach her, but she's, she's so stubborn. She doesn't just want to listen. She wants to pick her nose, she wants to eat, she wants to. She is tasty. Um, Daddy, I've tried, but. It's not working. I know. You still will have to do your best. Try, try and get along with her. It's not all about cooking good food. Of course, it's important for a healthy relationship, but so is healthy lifestyle. Anyways, just keep at your goals, okay? Thank you very much, Daddy. I'm already I'm done. Where is Gina? Um, the attorney went out. They went to an event. Dad, I hope you slept well. Yes, I did, my um, son. Do you need anything? Yes, I. I need breakfast. Oh, okay. Uh, we have um a Mexican restaurant down the road, and there's an Italian restaurant in the next street. So, whatever you want, we'll do it. We have top class. <laughs> Yes, eat as much as you like to have a taste of something classic. I think this time I will enjoy something more great. Okay? There's something for me. Daddy, breakfast is ready. I'll just. 
Lara, please. Please sit. You will have this breakfast. Um, Daddy. I'm not hungry. Now I see what you are. You served burnt bread and a glass of tea that looks like cow urine. Of course, you won't be hungry. Because you know that what you prepared is harmful to the human stomach. Damn! Daddy, please. I can eat it too. It's just that I actually don't do breakfast. I don't do breakfast, and I don't eat anything. Listen to me. You are exceptional with house cleaning and arrangement, but you suck in cooking. Is Gina's strength. Your strength is Gina's weakness. Cover this food and keep it. You will eat it whenever you are hungry. Make it a little sad. All the criteria you cannot meet. What do you want to market? Another no profit gets. Any money you don't like. Finally, we are sitting for the first time today. I am not serious. Jason, how? Why? Clara. How come? The thing is that. Mm. I need. Mm. Well, they suggested giving me a five star hotel meal today. I insisted that they should give me an homemade meal. Clara prepared something. At the sight of it, I decided that today would be a very good day to embark on a fast. So I fasted till Gina cooked. Thanks, Clara, for making me look upon the Lord today. Sorry to have made you wait this long to do this. It's just that I went out and I didn't make it. I promise if I'm going out for any reason, since you're still around, I'll prepare something for this world. Hopefully, that is a business. So sorry. I'll give you a few minutes of time. Don't catch my brain, please. Daddy, if you are tired, just tell Gina. She's the jobless one. I mean, she can fix it all up. I mean, if you put time to actually clean this place, then the jobless one will just take the shoes and it will just... Hello, ah. eh? sir. What did you say? Me. Jobless. No problem. I hope you have placed the call to that to your restaurant to bring food for you that you need. I hope you place the call. This problem, Gina, will not make any food for you to eat. Now, me call, you better me for the uncle being jobless. You're mad. Clara. Clara. Listen to me. I like the fact that you are neat. But when you're working, the 
began to give me tension and attention. And screaming, Dad, not here. Dad, not there. Dad, not this. Dad, not that. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you girls too. But then before I leave, a word of advice. Gina, you should learn the act of cleaning from Clara. And Clara, you should learn the act of cooking from Gina. <laughs> If you do it, my sons will have a complete package in their wives. And I will be the most blessed father of you. Do you understand? What do you think? Is that involvement successful? Well, I'm not sure, but the lady's attitude will answer that question. But what I'm sure of is that um, they fell in love with their future father-in-law. Oh, come on. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't fall in love? Your dad is the coolest ever. I'm in love. I mean, since we are... Hey, my name. Uh, Who are you talking to? <laughs> in love with my dad? Me, Clara, how does that sound? It sounds crazy. You're in love with his dad. Like... You're in love with my dad. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> ah! Go now. Dad. Alright. Always asking me what's on your mind, what's on your mind, whenever I'm drinking. Can I just have my quiet time and, and serve the, 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 the test of this, this good wine? You can. But I know something is wrong. So let's be calm. Oh, well, I, I'm just thinking, <laughs> you know, I can't believe I actually spent like one week with dad in this house. Without quarrels. I, I know he called me big countless times, but it's fine, it's okay. Yeah, he. He said the good things are good, alright? And um, like every other woman in this we have our thoughts. So, we will learn from each other's mistakes and that's just it. But aside that, 
that's his prospect in a successful marriage. So, it's going to work. I guess God's involvement is the success. Yeah. I can look forward to the possibility of a marriage. That's you. Mm. So, I, I saw Clara reading the book. Are you serious? Correct, <laughs> madam. African madam. Kitchen woman. Number one. Who are you looking for? Oh, I'm Shirley. And you? Who do you want to see? <coughs> Jake. We have um, vegetables that said he can come. We have hasta, we have pepper soup, assorted goat meat, depending on whichever one you want. You know, something to just relax. <laughs> I'm here to see both of them, Jake and Eric. I'll be around. Honestly, I don't know who she is and I want to watch her. <laughs> wow. She has every reason to be more scared than I am. Because she looks every inch like Jake's kind of woman. Hot, mm. sexy, classy, and very plastic, just like you. Mm. You know what, Jenna? I am not going to answer you. But whatever. You forget that Erica changed from non-classy to classy woman. Especially when you start of the itchy outfit. Mm. Thank you. My Eric likes me like that. Mm. He has never cheated on me. He never cheated on me. I'm very sure of that. Then why are you restless? Why are you restless? Counting around the house things. Why are you restless? Who wants? Who wants you to go and sleep? Go and sleep. Wait. Where did they actually? Go to with her. Whose room? It should be your room. What? No, it should be your room. It's your room. No. Your Eric was holding what? her bag. Wait, 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 wait. It's your room. Girls, please allow me for mother to introduce Sherry. She'll be staying with us for two weeks. Yeah, you'll know what to say about um, being the brother's keeper. Shelly here is stranded and um, she needs her help, so what do you think? I think she should go to a hotel. Or is she broke? Sweetheart, you don't look broke to me. Yeah, we wanted to lodge her in hotel, but she's in town. Yeah. We, um, she's very far on family with some places and some people in town. So please, just accommodate her home for two weeks. Huh? You have not told us who Shelly is. Of what Shelly? Well, babe, um, Shelly here, she's been a friend from way back. Yeah. I don't care. Just tell her to get off my space. Sweetheart, stay off, like off my space. Hey, babe.
China is not a problem to you. China has never been in the China. It's not small. You don't like Vegas, I know. You're very pretty. Why did I tell you? Serious? Don't tell me you mean it. Of course I do. I do. I cannot start dealing with another plastic person in this house again. I haven't even come out of Clara's room. No, it's another plastic person. Okay, I uh, just um bear, okay? Just bear with us. She'll be out before you know it. Alright? Um, okay, you know what? I don't want to play again, alright? I need to sleep now. Good night. Okay, <coughs> so it's true, eh? So it's true. It's true that she's not just a friend. You are talking to me, you are not. Um, Gina, I heard the kitchen is a place. I am so sorry to have this affair. Well, you know, it's been long, very long. So, it's okay. There's no problem. My name is not written in the kitchen, and the kitchen is not my personal. How can I ever forget that she is such a good woman? Uh -huh. Oh, stop! Let <laughs> me tell you, uh -oh. you know, you're right. Shelly, you are the full package. And I. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Are you kidding? Uh -huh. So, you're saying that um, Shelly is just came happy. Better than Gina that cook it for you. Really, um, can I come in? I will cook. Oh, it's okay. There's no problem. It's very obvious that Eric used to have a And as I can see, the share he has for dinner will not be enough for him. So I have decided to be going to donate my own portion to you. You can have this. Have oh, oh, sorry, I love sorry, that. Sorry. Let me have this. Let me have this. Can I have mine? <laughs> um, Gina, I thought you said. You want more? Can we have... just eat? Wait. Eric, Gina is sad. Not What is sad about not having an appetite? Skipping this meal will not kill my girlfriend. He said, just chill. After now, I will talk to her, but for now, I'm not. Jake, you want more? No, no, Dwayne! Yeah, 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 yeah! I wonder what the picture is going to be on the way back. Oh, um, I guess... 
I guess Gina is curious too. Well, I am their ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I dated both of them when we were still in school. Like both of them at the same time. Huh? You were too tiny. And they both Darling! <laughs> That's not a big deal. <laughs> well, you see. Mm. It's not a big deal. At all. At first they didn't know about it. But later they discovered that it became a talk of war. They thought they did everything possible. <sighs> well, I'm proud to say I am the only that has threatened the body Hmm. <laughs> and you lost totally because right now they are closer than before. <gasps> no, baby, I didn't. I actually left them. Yeah, I left them because it became boring, it became childish. You know me, I'm not a quitter, but man, um, I don't stoop. Like, it became boring, so I had to quit. And that's why they are still with you. Because I quit. Auntie, please, why did you suddenly disappear and reappear back in their lives? Eh? And, um, look. Don't even give me that story about being stranded because I never got it for a moment. Um, truth be told, I was never stranded. Nah. No, 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 no. I am so rich to be stranded. Truth be told, <clears throat> I am contemplating on getting married to either Jay or Eric. Of course, you know they are good candidates. You can testify. <laughs> so that's it. So what's up, what's up for Gina? What do you have? Oh, I have to talk myself. What's going on here? What is it you cannot see inside the house? Make that last. Why do you just want her gone? Why? She's just seeking for, for shelter for just for a while. It's not true. Why do you want us to chase that innocent girl out? Why? It's not true. She's not seeking any shelter. She already told us yesterday. She admitted that she's here on a mission. Baby. You cannot fabricate lies just because you want us to send her away. That is not fair. She had nobody fabricated nothing. She has to go. I'm not comfortable with you. You're not the one talking. Your insecurity is talking. I will pretend we did not have this conversation. Uh, same here. Don't mind. Uh, eh? For real, man. This conversation did not take place. Babe. I, I need. Mm. And, and, I, 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 I need and that game is too plastic. You don't like my type of thing. <laughs> you said you wanted to see me, and I've been sitting down here waiting for you for as long as you. What is it you want to discuss about? Because it's not as easy as I think. Um, well, I will consider you as one now. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Gina, we have a situation at hand. Yes, I agree we have not agreed on so many things, but we have to agree on this one. We have to throw Shelly out of herself. She is a threat. <laughs> Clara. <laughs> Clara is scared. Hmm? Mighty Clara. Unbeatable um, Clara. Classy Clara. Oh, Clara, you're scared. Of course, why would you not be scared? And the woman is just like this. She is a type of woman. Are you serious? She is Eric's kind of woman. She knows how to make her. And Eric loves her. You know that, right? You have a point there. Yeah. 
So what do you suggest we do? The men have refused to throw her out of the house, so there's nothing we can possibly do. We have a whole lot of things to do, like a whole lot of things to do. You know what, let's just join hands together and make this work out. And do not forget, do not underestimate our Yes, I know. I know. And you know we never agree on anything, but for this, I'm on the same page with you. I agree. We need to remove the threats from the house. Mm -hmm. you are no, I'm not afraid. Is this kind of girl? No, it's Jake's kind of girl. She knows how to look. <laughs> she doesn't want to look Eric. Eric is gone. Jake that is gone because I even accepted to support you. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's time of time of this. We have to go to please just come on. Please just you know, she's very good at this. Very, very good. Can we go? Um, Jake, it's time up. Can we go? I'm, I'm feeling horny and I'm in the mood right now. That's what you do. I do want to say what you want. Okay, hold on, just give me minutes, okay? If I don't get it, I'll get it. I'm not begging you, I'm just telling you. Shelly, that's it. You can play yourself. Hmm? No? Correct, madam. G. African, madam. Kitchen woman. <laughs> wow. She's just like me. A proper sexy <laughs> And very stubborn for her, madam. She wouldn't give me a chance. Hmm. But I am not a quitter. It's either Jake or Eric. Original woman. Oh, yeah, baby. You resistibly sex. Because you know she likes cutting. I'm not. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what you like. Thank you. 
brother. You see me? You see me is fake. I mean, baby, try work. It's expensive, but. <laughs> I'm so bored. Man, me too. I'm so bored. You know what? I've been to all the joints in this town. I need some new flick and entertainment. You know? I've, I've, I've done it all in this town. I've been to all places. Uh, I'm tired. I'm so bored. Is there a new place? So, how do we survive today? I mean, do you have any plans? an idea. But this idea is not just us. The ladies inclusive. Believe me, it's really not interesting. Jake. I I I hope there is not something that will involve the elders. I just hope this is not going to drive them crazy. Oh, it's Saturday. And I know you do boys are bored, so we need our ladies to do our work. 
So, for that reason, we came up with the thoughts. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Come on, don't be scared. It's the game, and the game is going to be innocent and harmless. Don't worry, baby. We have rules, alright? And everyone is So the title of the game is She is yours. <laughs> Everybody is surprised. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it goes like this. Um, Clara becomes Eric's for the day. Just one day. Why Gina becomes mine? Just one day. <laughs> mm. That sounds like fun. You know, I am already loving it. And um, we are going to take you anywhere to bring you back anytime you wish. But you guys are going to go on the I've never really liked Miss Plastic, but I totally agree with her on this one. Now, <laughs> Planico. <Okay. laughs> you okay? You're fine. So we all agree, right? We are yours to command the next one. Alright? So, okay, the rules. Rule number one no intimacy. And rule number two no intimacy of any kind. And rule number three no intimacy is allowed. Dude, that sounds like one report came with you in the beginning of the I paraphrased. So, me. So, are we good? not the type of market that you and that your plastic girlfriend you go to where you have this and all those other things. Hmm? No. Is that what we're going to? <laughs> we are going to market my one day boyfriend. Hmm? Because we are going to eat dinner this evening. So you can see what women are we bet not just wheel. Take it easy. Stop. See, we get to the market. Let's go. Hold on, let me wear my shoes. Don't waste my time. Clara, can you please make a shoe? About. Can I just take off my tie? And this black trousers that I'm wearing, this doesn't fit me. So we have this is a Hugo Boss suit. This is Jake's uh, suit. This is one of his favorites. It's Hugo Boss. So yeah, this is classic. I mean, we're not talking about those kind of clothes that Gina used to use these about the like this is it. I don't understand. Do you call this classy? Do you call this baggy that I'm wearing classy? A brand? It's a brand. A anyways, I, 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 I totally understand. You're not used to designer names. You're used to those... Um, she clothes Gina gives to you, but sweetheart, this is 
give us. Honestly, you're really going to enjoy dating me for just one day. Can we just enjoy this one, please? I, 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 I know this is a game, but it's okay, no problem. I mean, there's no time. It's going to be 6 p.m. and I'm done with this game. Ah, the day hasn't even started and then you you just want to end it all like with your complaining. What, what, what's your you know, I don't like it when he called us designers oh. and... No. Wait, this is just all the shop. Yes. 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 So you want me to buy rotten tomatoes simply because you're in the economy. You see, the economy is very hard. You have to spend and keep money that you see. Have you seen that fresh tomatoes? Very come, let's take a closer look. Come, 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 come. Yeah. Please don't spoil my hair. Don't spoil it. Please, please. Don't, don't, don't spoil my hair. Oh, just shut up. Excuse me, Jake. Eric? I'm sorry. I said Jake. Eric is gone. I said Jake. Oh gosh, I miss my Jake. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Please, can you help me go to the, um, whatever? Just get me, um, juice and, um, and a snack. Is that just, 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 just go. I'm asking if it's all you want. That's all. Uh, madam, how much is it? This is 500. That's 500. Yes, for this pop up. This is 200. Uh, the back here is 150. Uh, Inside the 100. Uh, ha! This tomato 500 now. This one they carry and have to pay. 100. How much? Like? Yes, I can give you a little bit more. 450. Ha <laughs> ha! Madam, 450 is too much. I bet. You know, sir, the tomato 200 now. Hey, whoa! What did they have for the Nigeria? I never hear that. 200, uh, 200 for this tomatoes. Madam, madam. Let's market it to ambitious more price go back. How much you will give me last? How much? I thought you bought it. Just here. Just here. 200. Yes. 390. Madam, sell tomato 390. Now, madam. because of 10 naira, you know go sell tomato. Okay, 10 naira. Need another thing, sir. Uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. If you want to say you're not going to buy this, buy for here. Now you go tell me where I go buy. Now where I won't buy because I won't buy this tomato. Three nine. Where your power is back? As you find, you should call the top by twenty twenty ten market. Not for your husband hand. Ah. Madam, sell tomato now. Gina. Gina, what was wrong with you? Why are you dragging dinner with this woman? That's not how you buy things in the market when you come to price me. Price me. Price me. I'm here fighting over dinner with you. Look at you. I'm teaching you how to price me when you come to market on your own. What's wrong with you? Dinner. Dinner. You have to pay for the first try to put our heads. Price me. Madam, say this thing like that. Give me now. You are bending your chair. It's easy. Let's go. Let's look for another place which you don't want to sell. I, Hi. I, I, I got the, I got meat pie and juice. Kind of juice? I, I didn't see the one you asked for, but I said fresh juice, fresh juice. Oh my God, Clara, I need Jake. I, 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 I know, but I bought something good, all right? And I bought meat pie for me too. That's okay. Can I see it? It's here. No, can I open it? Clara, I can't remember you telling me that your hands are paining you. Please don't spoil the phone. Don't spoil it. You initiated this whole idea, right? Miss Pipe? 
Yeah, is that chicken pie or meat pie? It's, it's, it's good. Whatever. Some more? Shake it very well, shake it. I know you want to steal me. I know. Turn it. No. Fine. Sorry. You don't want to pour this thing on my face. That's okay. Sarah. You're talking too much. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. Sorry. Sorry. Boy, boy, I don't tire. I don't tire. If you see me, I just sweat like London goat. Walking from one shop to another. Man, my own, eh? I have been with an errand boy, man. Like, I go outside, I buy the juice, I come back and I see. Ah! Can you imagine? Nah, eh? She, she refused to buy anything. Just worrying the whole shop that went to. Can you imagine? I mean, what this, this stupid child and making me look like one goat that is trying to retreat. Can you, can you beat that? I am so tired. Where, where are <laughs> Now, if you ask me, you can go ask now. Yeah, we'll see the buy. The buy. Yeah, yeah, I need to go right now. My one day girlfriend is calling me. I think she is. Okay, so you don't give up, alright? Before you know this man, it's over. Yeah, well, we're later now. Okay, okay. Sorry, are you was on call? Huh? Why? I need my drink. Excuse me. You don't? Yeah, I don't. Let's go. Let's go. Are you watching? What is it? Ah! My God! Ah! Now, what is wrong with you? I want to pull over. This is the first time for me to come into the market. How am I supposed to know where the toilet is? That's it. Just look for anywhere. Call in Nylon. When we get home, we do it at home. Let's go home. Please just look for anybody. Call in Nylon for me so I can just run it. Nylon! Just go now, so I just um. Nylon. Mm. Just go if I start screaming here, people are looking at me. Eric, 
your girlfriend ever asks you to accompany her to the market, don't you ever, Eric, don't you ever try it. This is an advice from a brother to a brother. Jake, if your girlfriend here asks you to accompany her to the market, don't go. It is total disaster. I am telling you, speaking from experience, Swear. you're right. You don't have to kiss me again. It smells like Eh? And so? Baby! Baby! You are so annoying. I don't know why. 
My space so I can prepare a delicious meal for everyone to eat. Something you will never be able to do in your entire life. Okay, fine. Fine, come. I have it forever. Do you know? I need to know how. I need to teach me how to open it. I'm gradually losing trust. It's so good to see Miss Plastic this humble. Hi. Uh oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I will teach you. Only on one condition. She will also teach me how to tidy and arrange things. <laughs> I know Eric will like that kind of woman, and I want to be that woman. Fine. Hey. Okay. I hold it. Just hold this first. Uh -huh. It's perfect. God. When we are done, cut it. Yeah. Yeah. God. I thought you said you want to learn how to cook. Drop. Kitchen. Cut. Cut. Now, ha! It's not. We are finished now. No worries, my star. Got, got, got. Ah! Are you done? One does shall never. Dude, wait, pinch me. I want to feel that I'm not dreaming. Is that Gina and Clara together? It is what you see, man. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Look at them. Together in the kitchen. Not already. What sweet. Man. There's a dream come true. That's what we want. Look at this. Wait, wait. Hey! Your eyes are not the Okay, so it's perfect. I know you won't say you've never had an embarrassing moment in your entire life. So tell me, what's your most Embarrassing moments. Uh, okay. For the, the cooking aspect, that was like um, five, six years ago. I was actually working as a waitress in the hotel. Are you guys alright? Are you 
Avec des uniformes. Il y a des flyers. Le manager qui m'a dit, il m'a dit, c'est angry. Traffic not a way. Il y a des conflits. Okay. Very serious message because he asked to see you as soon as you arrive. Right. Mm. I better give me the information. He's in his office, probably waiting to order you. Come and see him quickly before I come to meet you here. What's this now? What's this?
Genie to say you are. How many doses of Qatar have you been feeling? This relationship. You just made me the world's most embarrassed man. After blowing your Qatar with your bed, you used that same hand to serve food for me and my friends. Who does that? There are lots of spoons there. Why didn't you use one? Believe. You know what? It's over. I don't want to see you again. Alright? We're done! I know you would have like waited for the ground to open so you could just swallow you. Seriously, this friend is so I mean, he should know you're ill. Like, why did you do that? I don't know. Yes, I'm, I wasn't feeling too well. I had serious cough and cat and you. And he just said I had to come and come and his friends. And I don't know why he didn't understand. Maybe because his friends were laughing when it happened. So, and it was also wrong of me to have used the same hand I used in blowing my nose almost immediately to you know, cut garbage with dish for your friends. So that was it. But it's okay, let me share the food. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, let's pray. In Jesus' name. Father Lord, we thank you for this wonderful week. We return all the glory to you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Mm. I hope he's nice. Yeah. Don't need to be told. Okay. okay. I'm going to surprise you. This food was made by Clara. <laughs> From start to finish. Yes, I only survived. Are you serious? Wow, what an improvement. Well, yeah.